Hello, my name is Mr. Nash and I work here at Mans Park Middle School and I am the teacher sponsor that goes with the Washington DC group every year. This is the presentation that was given on Wednesday, May the 3rd, about NPMS Goes to Washington, D.C. 2018. First thing we did was we did watch a little promotional video that was produced by World Strides, the group that uh, puts on our trip for us. So I will put a link to this particular video uh, on my website if you would like to, to view that. First thing we need to talk about are the dates for the trip. Uh, we leave in on a Thursday and we get back on a Sunday, February 22nd through February 25th of 2018. It's kind of hard to believe that we're talking about 2018, but we do go in February. So it is kind of cold during that time of the year. So how much does it cost? That's the second important question that is asked. Well, the cost of this trip, the student cost is $1,833. And if you'd like to go as a chaperone, the cost is $2,126. Now, this price is based on 35 participants. Over the last few years, we've hit right at 35 or just shy of that. And World Strides has been really nice and, and uh, has not increased our price per student because of the, the number of years that we have been with World Strides. Uh, I also encourage one other thing um, that's added to this particular price, and that is the full refund program. Uh, it is an additional $209, but what it allows for is an, it's an insurance program that allows you to cancel up to the day of the trip and still get most of your money back. You get everything back except for a $49 deposit, the $209 that it costs for the full refund program, and then a few fees. But uh, you do get the majority of your money back. If you do not take the full refund program, it is prorated starting at about 120 days out and you get less and less of your money back. Uh, your final payment is due by December the 9th of 2017. So if you start paying now, uh, it's just divided out amongst about five to six months to get that paid off. So it, it's the way I uh, told the students, it's kind of like a small car payment for the next six months, but it's a great Christmas present for these students. So what does this cost cover? It covers everything except for souvenirs. That's the one nice thing about this particular trip is a totally inclusive price. Everything is included. All of their fees for various things, all their tickets, the airfare because we do fly, um, their bus when we get there because we do have a tour bus that takes us around everywhere. So it pays for our driver and our bus. Also pays for a tour guide that's with us all the time that um, gives a, a description of everything that's going on. Now, if you register by May 19th, you get that price. Uh, after May 19th, the price may increase, and more than likely it does. It does increase by about $120. So I highly encourage you to go ahead and register and get everything uh, taken care of as soon as you possibly can. They do normally push that into June, but I don't know when that, that particular day is that they will do that. So uh, registration, you know, register as early as you possibly can. What do we see? Well, we try to see as much as possible on this trip. Uh, one of the things that we do see is we do drive up embassy rows so the students can see all the embassies that are located in Washington, D.C. And we normally do that either on the way up to or the way back from the National Cathedral, which is one of my all-time favorite uh, sites to see in, in DC. We also hit as many of the memorials as we possibly can. We hit the Vietnam, the Korean, the Lincoln, the Iwo Jima. Uh, we also, um, on Sunday morning, we get up early on our, on our last day there and we do a, about a two hour trip in Mount Vernon. So we um, go out there to see George Washington's house and on this particular slide on the, the right hand side there in the middle is Mount Vernon. Uh, we hit as many of the Smithsonian's as we possibly can, the ones that are there on the mall, uh, which is the American History, the Natural History, the National Air and Space Museum, and the National Gallery of Art. We hit some more memorials, the Jefferson Memorial, the FDR Memorial, the uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial, which is one of the newer memorials there on the mall area. On Saturday, we take a half-day trip to Gettysburg so that we can um, see what it was like for the 
you know, during the, the Battle of the Civil War, one of the greatest battles of the Civil War. Um, so we, we drive up to Gettysburg, takes about an hour and a half to get there. Uh, we have a two hour tour that is led by one of the US Park Service guide guides that's there with Gettysburg. And they um, tell us all about what happened during those three days in Gettysburg, three days in July of 1863, I believe. Uh, after we do the battlefield tour, we then uh, go have lunch and then we tour another side of Gettysburg. We always talk about the soldier side and, and the death and, and all of that that happened on the battlefield, but what happened to all the civilians and all the, the women and children that were still there in the town of Gettysburg? Because it was a nice town. Um, so we, we visit a place called the Shriver House. And the Shriver House is a, is a house that's been put back into the time period um, so that you can see what it was like for the townspeople. Uh, it was, and, and they tell you the story of the Shrivers. And it's a, it's a beautiful story about what, what happened to the, the Shriver family. And it's a really neat place. We started going there about 15 years ago and, and the students have really enjoyed that side. So we see the battlefield side and we see the civilian side of the Battle of Gettysburg. We also uh, tour Arlington National Cemetery so that we can see the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier and we can see the changing of the guard and we can see uh, the eternal flame there at, at Kennedy's graveside. Uh, we um, stop by the White House just to get a picture stop. We don't go in the White House, but we do stop there so we can see what the White House looks like at least from both sides. Um, we also hit the WW2 Memorial, which is again, is one of the newer memorials there on the mall. Well, we do tour the Capitol building. So that's, we can't go to Washington DC without touring the Capitol. So we do have a tour of the Capitol building. Sometimes we do walk by the Supreme Court building. We go into the Library of Congress, uh, which is again, one of the most beautiful and ornate buildings in Washington DC. Uh, we alternate between the International Spy Museum and the Museum. Uh, so we might do either one of those. Those are two of the museums that actually, we do charge a fee to get onto there, but it is included in the price. We also go visit the National Archives, which is where a lot of our important documents are found for our country. So what do I need to do now? Well, right now you need to register for the trip. And there are three ways that you can do so. You can one, register by, with the envelope, mailing a $49 check into World Strides, or you can go online to worldstrides.com slash sign up using the trip ID number of 147811 and you can register for the trip that way and charge your $49 on any major credit card. Or you can call the World Strides customer service number at 800-468-5899 using the same trip ID number, 147811. You can register for the trip by paying 49, your $49 deposit. So we just need to do that kind of quickly. So just register by May 19th before the price increases. So we have two people that typically go on the trip myself as well as Ms. Ulrich. I do take one other teacher along uh, to help out with, with various things. Uh, Ms. Ulrich has gone along on the trip for, for several years with me. Uh, and it's nice to have somebody that, that is there that is knowledgeable of the trip and that can help out with, with everything so that the parents that do go can really enjoy the trip. And Ms. Ulrich and I can make sure that everybody is there. So how can you contact me if you need to? Well, one, you can email me directly if you have questions, jnash at huntsville-isd.org, or you can call the school at 435-6400, and I'll be more than happy to get back with you with the information that you have or that you need. need. We also have a Facebook page, and I'll be posting things as, as the year progresses uh, at NPMS Goes to DC. There's also a Twitter, Twitter handle uh, at um, MPMS DC 2018. So what I need for you to do now is register for the trip as, as fast as you can so that we can get signed up. So if you have any questions, feel free to contact me.